Hello my dear students, welcome back to this new episode of the video. Now, in the vi this video we are going to start at putting those validation errors, okay, just in our view, okay. I think before now we are checking that in the network manager, which is not fair enough. So what I'll do is, I'll go right here and I'll create a div class, okay, and I'm gonna have the class called, I say, um, or oh, I prefer div ID, and the ID is going to be name error, name field, okay, let's just call it name field, and I'm gonna copy this real quick right here, and I'm gonna call this username field. Okay, same goes for the email, email field, and for the password, we have password field, great. Now, apart from that, I'm just going to add a class called has error, okay, has error to Mm, I think this would be nice if we add it right in the input. So I'm going to say it has error. Okay, just that one. And I'm going to style that up a bit. I'm going to say if we have such class, we should have a border of two pixels solid red. Okay, or I think one pixel would be better. One pixel, so red. Okay, and that's nice. That's fair enough. Great. So we're gonna put that in custom dot CSS. Great. Okay, so now let's just. Take that out because this is gonna be dynamic for now. Now in this cache section, this is where we're catching the errors. Okay, so there's something we need to know. If I'm to refresh this page, okay, clear this guys out and try to submit, it is actually returning the response as an object of arrays. Okay, this is an object. You see the curly braces. And you see the square bracket. So for JavaScript to actually process this, since this is in JSON, JavaScript can actually process this. Okay, right? We need to do something real quick. Now, what I like to do is I like to create a function to process this separately so that my code doesn't get messy. So I'll create a function called print error message. Okay, where I'm gonna pass in error. Okay. I'm going to pass in the response or the error response we are getting from the controller. So it's going to be error, the response, okay, dot data, dot error. Okay, now this error right here is this error right here, okay. So it came from the response, remember the response, right um, right here, response, okay. The JSON is being represented as the data because if you try to pass in a kind of a parameter, the first parameter you have here, right, you see it's data and it has this error. So just to explain that. So next, I'd like to create a function and this function will be outside this whole code so it's be function we have that okay so the next is i would like to accept this function okay as a message okay so now let's just console.log this to make sure we are on track okay so hopefully if we don't have any error let's reload we should see okay now we have objects of the array right there great we're amazing guys now one thing we need to do 
it used to start picking this um, object of the array one after the other. So I'm going to say if making sure that we don't have an undefined. So if message is not equal to undefined, we want to do this. Okay, then I'm going to define a variable called object, which is going to all object keys, objects that keys, okay, of the message. Okay, great. And then I'm going to say if I'm going to use this jQuery um, way of doing this. So I'm going to say in a rate, this is more like a jQuery prototype. Okay, so if you don't understand what that is, the problem, just pay attention, you are going to understand. So jQuery in array, we're going to say name. If name is in array, okay, then we want to pass in the array, which is the object, okay, and say equals to now minus one if it's not in the array okay and i think it will turn zero if it's in the array so i'm going to open a color braces instead of closing that and i'm going to have an else statement too so jquery in array name okay now this name is supposed to be a string okay so if you know really jquery blah and we have that there's this console.log right here. Yes, it is. Um sorry, nope, it isn't. Okay, and console.log. Yes, it is. Great, so let's just view this. Hopefully if we don't have any error. Okay, yes, it is. That means we have this name validation in it send again yes it is what happened if i fill in the name field submit nope it isn't so we see the validation is making sense guys yes it is making sense so if yes it is okay we have such error we would want to say select okay the name field and add a class as error which we styled initially so right about now I'm just gonna say ID name impute okay so for this we're gonna say ID username impute and for this ID email impute and I think lastly ID password impute okay so we are going to say select this ID and add class add class to it add class as error to it okay now if it doesn't we need to remove the class from it great so Let's see this in action real quick, guys. I'm just gonna go right here, reload this page, and right there, continue. See, we have this, and the moment we enter and send, you see we don't have that. So apart from that, we still need to send or put in the message right there, okay? So we're gonna place this message in this name field div class enter div class we created okay so that was why we created it and if it has the error okay we are going to select this name field and in the html okay we are going to pass in the message so we have the message and in it as an array we are going to pass a name and we just want to pass in the first error okay so the error has been saved one at a time and if it doesn't we are just going to leave this blank okay remove that so we could actually append a kind of div class to this to style this up a bit if we want to okay 
but I also think we could actually still do it this way as arrow okay let's just leave it that way okay I think we can actually have something like that as arrow to target this but I think this would be the best and most easiest way to achieve this so we're gonna concatenate this with a div okay and we're gonna have a class arrow input let's just have that concatenate another and let's just close the div great so let's do this in action real quick guys i'm just going to clear this up clear this up submit and you see this field is acquired okay now we have and it's gone great so I still need to style this up a bit because okay now I'm gonna style this error impute div we just added I'm gonna say you should have a part margin top of 10 pixel a color of red okay font size decreased a bit okay and that's it guys so put this in the custom CSS And right about now, I'm just going to duplicate this for the rest of of it. Okay, so if you like, you could duplicate this, or if you like, you could make this reusable. Okay, so whichever one would work. I think I could actually make this reusable. Okay, by saying right here, I'm going to say um another function called another function called process process error okay and i'm going to define the function here yeah, function process error and i'm going to paste that okay now we're going to replace this first one with the name okay so it's gonna be a variable right now name okay then we're going to have a second one which is the so let's just pass that name right here now we're going to have a second one which is the name input okay we're going to have that as the input okay so this is going to be input and then we are going to have the third one as validation field okay so right here validation field great so same thing goes to this validation field and same thing goes to this input great and for this this guy right here it's going to be the name great so for the validation field we were supposed to have this guy right here name field okay so I'm gonna pass this and all things being equal this is supposed to still work so let's just go see this in action continue we have a problem obj is not defined okay I think we should pass the obj first okay and accept it right here okay let's try this one more time message is not defined mm. message is not defined let's still pass the message right here and accept it right here okay and reload 
okay so we have this now one good thing about what i do right did right here is that it's going to limit the number of lines of code we write but i think that's good enough so process message is going to the next one we want to do is to pass in the username okay and the field is username field in fact it's pretty much going to be the same this is going to be username okay and this is going to be username and this is username and for the email we have email we have email right here and I think we have email too and for the password we have password and we have password one thing is that if we were to repeat this um, line of code it's going to be quite lengthy so this makes it much more easier so let's load this and we have this amazing validation system working okay so you see how amazing this is guys please enter now this is telling us please enter by the email we didn't do this right this is supposed to be password okay so reload try please the field is required please enter a more secure password now the password is secure and now this is also secured okay great now one more thing i want to say is that you see that the arrows are handled one at a time this field is required please enter a valid now this is so because we actually entered this zero right here okay as the index of the error message we are receiving if not we are going to have um list of errors okay which I don't just like I just like having the errors one at a time. So that's it guys for the session of the video. Now on the next session of the video we are going to complete the registration process, okay? And I'll see you in the next session of the video. Bye bye.